Hello friends, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Alan's Talent. For today, I will explain you all the work of the river. So let's begin. Running water is perhaps the most powerful agent of erosion. Rain causes some water to flow in small streams, so it can be joined together to form a river. Some rainwater evaporates and the rest of it sweeps underground. Source is a term used for a place from where the river originates. Sea, lake, and ocean are large water bodies in which a river falls. Mouth is a term used for the place where the river joins another water body. River basin is an area which is drained by the river and its tributaries. In hilly regions, or in the mountains, due to steep slope of land, the river carries a small volume of water. Due to narrow stream it flows swiftly with enormous erosive power, forming number of landforms. The most common landform is a V-shaped valley. Another type of landform formed is a gorge. A gorge is a very deep and narrow valley. It is formed when a river erodes vertically through hard rocks. This valley is shaped like the letter I, therefore it is also called I shaped valley. When the water of the river falls almost vertically down a steep valley side, or sudden break in a landform due to faulting forms a beautiful landform, named waterfall. Rapid is a term given to the steep sloping segment of the swift flowing river. Due to continuous erosion meanders are formed. The river twists and turns to form loops and large bends. When the meandering loops become almost circular, the strip of land is cut by the river in two loops taking a straight course. The circular loop is completely cut off from the main channel. And this results in the formation of an oxbow lake. Now let's talk about delta. What is a delta? A delta is a depositional landform formed by a network of distributaries, generally due to deposition of sediment. The shape of a delta is always triangular.